very good afternoon. Delighted to be a part of team one and a big round of applause for my team members who are such amazing contributors to this beautiful sheet that we have created. And I'd like to take you through the journey. And the theme that we've been given is entrepreneurial skills for building social and emotional skills. So, it's a very, very relevant topic and I like to start with a quote by Henry Ford. It says, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. But you're right both ways. It's just about your thought. Right? So, that is the thought with which I would like to start. And uh, taking on from where Dr. Pandey left, he talked about the startup culture and he talked about uh, our honorable prime minister and how he gave a big push to the country which now stands in the middle and at the top of G20. So um, a bit of statistics, 400 startups in 2014, 85,000 startups in 2022. That is the journey of entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurial skills that our students, and I would say students because the ones who did all of this between 14 and 22 were with us in school during that period of time. So kudos to all of us. We must have done something right to get it right. So uh, the culture of Think Tank, which was first mooted by him and of course AIM, Finally, today we are standing tall with 108 unicorns to the credit of India, which is, I think, a fantastic number not seen in any other country. So, um, we are talking about connecting the uh, Entrepreneurial Skills ES to SCS. I would, I am sure all of you are aware of SCL, which is Social Emotional Learning. And we talk about the three S's and the two R's in SEL. Now I'd like to connect it through this. We'd like to take you through the journey of an entrepreneur. And what is it that uh, ensures that these skills come naturally to an entrepreneur? And if these skills are there in an entrepreneur, he manages it well. And what it takes to be an entrepreneur. So we will just connect the skills and the ideas. First is... Um, an entrepreneur is somebody who would walk not the path but create a path for himself. He is a path breaker and a maker rather than a path follower. So moving away from white collar jobs to uh, from being a job seeker to a job creator and a job provider. The idea uh, that hounds him and prevents him from sleeping. If you remember the quote which talks about Ideas should make you wake up in the middle of the night. That is the idea that you can build on. So therefore, uh, the idea that uh, is a passion drives him to move from the very secure standard jobs to something that he can create for others. Opportunities that he creates. The opportunity that he gets makes most of it and makes a success out of it. If he doesn't, he knows how to bounce back, modify it and adapt accordingly. So a few few pointers for you. Ideation, thinking of a new idea, being socially aware, aware of the problems that uh, are rife in our local environment. To pick up those problems and find a way, a solution because he feels for the society he wants to contribute to the world at large. Self-belief, so confident that he can uh, say no to everything that comes on offering and that would be an example from IIT, the very institution that we are standing in. So many of the IITNs have refused jobs in the MNCs and have said we will take the path forward to be an entrepreneur. So that was highlighted in the newspapers and I'm sure you're aware of it. So breaking away from the toad line but being ready to take any kind of risks that come his way to improve the life of commoners. And um, of course, knowing fully well that it is a path full of thorns. It is not a bed of roses and therefore the fight is long and arduous. 
he needs to be patient and she needs to be patient to ensure that it is gender sensitive. And um, an independent thinker, fierce independent thinker who wants to live life on, in, uh, on his own or her own terms and being open to criticism and uh, absorbing ideas from outside so that it constantly tweaks his ideas to improve. Reaching out, doing pilots, doing surveys so that he gets a feedback from others and being resourceful enough to take the opportunities of the world and bring it to his forum. Being very, very financially literate so that he can create a profit model out of this and to market it at the, uh, to the world and being digitally literate. The skills that he would or she would develop in her or his workplace would be collaboration, working in a team, taking and leading the team, being an excellent communicator so that he ensures all those who join his team buy into his idea and are able to push that idea. Work ethics being strong because he or she was always idealistic. He, he or she dreamed of an ideal world. So the cultural uh, uh, ethical dilemmas that he or she is faced with is dealt with wonderfully. And um, diverse in thought, diverse in absorption of ideas, cultures, being inclusive in his or her workplace, but most importantly, being very, very positive about everything that uh, uh, takes place in uh, his um, area of work. Uh, being self-aware, being self-aware and taking complete responsibility for his or her actions and knowing that what she or he does will have a large social impact. Growth set, uh, growth mindset is an important um, aspect and of course, continuous research for improving the product that one has invested in or an idea one has invested in. And uh, to ensure that the green environment is looked after, being sustainable in his or her ideas and of course, being a team player and a team leader. So I'll just request every one of my team members to say one little thing so that our team is well represented. And uh, how does it ensure that uh, ES contributes to SES? We know that all that I've said uh, about success, failure, resilience, uh, and bouncing back from failure, learning from doing, uh, is all about uh, emotional, social emotional awareness and uh, skills. So the moment uh, an entrepreneur sets off, I think we would find these skills inherent in him or her. May I request you, sir? Good evening, everyone. I can only say one word, key word for everyone. Be aware. See the society, take out something from the society and innovate your ideas and create your institution, maybe virtual, practical and just throw these ideas, those institutions for the common public. That should be our lead of life and we should be confident and we should give something for the society, for the common man. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon everybody. I would just uh, like to highlight two important points about uh, your entrepreneurial skills which lead to social and emotional skills. I think empathy, uh, empathy mm -hmm. and uh, because not compassion, I mean we all understand empathy is a difference. So being empathetic is very important and also a critical thinker. Of course the green skills and everything else will come in this gender terms. Thank you so much. Good afternoon everyone. I believe that whenever you are going, look after various ideas which we can take up and which we can develop. Because whenever we are going, there are various ideas and if we are looking for the solutions, we can start for, we are having a lot of startups which can be taken up. Thank you. Thank you. Idea, idea box on campus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we are dealing with uh, mostly underprivileged children. Right? And the mindset 
you know, many of them, they are having the ordinary mindset that is, they say, nobody is giving me a job. You are not giving me anything to do, so I don't have anything to do. So this puts me off. But now with the introduction of entrepreneurial skills, and we are mobilizing the whole school, otherwise there were a few, one or two coming up with these skills. But now the whole school, all the children are going to be mobilized, and we are mobilizing, and it is a good success. Thank you.